And we're back for the first time in a new format with a mix of the real life movie talk going into the grown ass children podcast. It is your boy Chris. Blockbuster Ben. John. So we're gonna start with the movie review. Yep. And then that conversation is just gonna naturally progress to the podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh the sound quality should be a lot better for the movie reviews. Fingers crossed. We're and hoping. The, and the video quality should be a lot better for the podcast. Look at us. Well, the iPad camera was like decent. I mean, it. The- we never use it for the podcast. Oh, right, 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 right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's what you mean. Yeah. So now you guys are going to get the best of a bunch of different worlds. You're going to be able to watch the movie review. You're going to be able to watch the podcast. Mm-hmm. You're going to be able to listen to the movie review and listen to the podcast. We'll break it out into two segments visually and then one long segment for the podcast. We're going to trim up both ends. So the movie review and the podcast will be a little bit shorter. Sorry, we know you guys like to listen for an hour and a half, but we're <laughs> to talk sh- about one we're, movie, <laughs> we're going to shorten this bad boy up. Yeah, I won't. I won't banter much. Ah, uh, I mean, it is what it is. We're just trying to also like help us out, you know, like with yeah. the time that we that yeah. we have, like you know, with work and everything else. I really, mean, we're just, just considerate of our fans. That's what it boils down to. Yeah, we care about you guys. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, um, uh, we got some snacks on the table. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, who brought I, these? I did. I picked the quietest snack we could in the new microphone. For the new microphone. These are Kirkland Trail Mix. <laughs> Very quiet. Uh, they have the big M and M's in there, which I really like. This isn't a cheat meal, by the way. So it's like a healthy snack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like to if you were talking. Your, support your hard seventy-five. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which, which was tough which you're this weekend. doing awesome, man. What week, was this weekend? Well, this weekend I went to Raleigh. Mm. And it's, it's like the best way to describe the like, three little towns that we went to. We went to a little area that was like uh, in Raleigh that was just like Cross Street. All kinds of little food places and bars. They had a goddamn fresh made. There was a place as soon as you walk in just making fresh fucking donuts. Jeez. Yeah, and we sat right by it. So I'm sitting there eating. And you just had to watch. Like yeah. Krispy Kreme? Uh yeah, yeah very similar but more gourmet though than Krispy sure. Kreme like uh duck donuts or something like that mm. I mean it, yes trust me fractured and, prune yeah and right across yeah. from that was a rolled ice cream place so like just like yeah have yeah. you had that before no no Ben I didn't have get you ever had rolled ice cream yeah they used to have it at Columbia Mall oh my God I had it for the first time in El Paso like back in the um like fall I was like what is this magical thing that tell me how good it was. <laughs> I'll show you a picture. I'll show you a picture after this. Uh, you watch one of those things down with an alcohol? I'm done. <laughs> done, John. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, between the food, everything's fried down there. Like the one the one place I went to, it was like a Southern Creole um, style uh, little little shack. Mm-hmm. And I walked up, and there was a guy sitting at the counter. I'm looking at the register. He's looking at me. He's like smiling because I could just tell that he loved the, the menu, the food. And I said, the catfish. Can you only get that fried? He went, everything is fried. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, you know where you're at? <laughs> and delicious. <laughs> I'll see you in four months. <laughs> oh, man. So you're going to go back? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Your I mean, sister, there's breweries everywhere. There, right? Yeah, there's breweries everywhere. You NC s- State is there. I was going to say, UNC is there. Duke is there. And then all the little areas around it are a lot like Fells or Canton or Fed Hill, except they're clean as hell. And there's oh. no homeless people. Oh. And everybody is so and nice. Sounds so much better than here. It, my sister said she will <laughs> never move back here no matter what happens. Wow. Okay. It, the cost of living there is much cheaper, but obviously you make less. Either way, I mean, it's uh-huh. you can't put a price on happiness, I guess. How close is it to the Outer Banks? Mm-hmm. Uh, two and a half hours. Okay, that's not bad at all. Yeah. Okay. Nice. And if you go the other way, you can go to this old place called the Biltmore, which is like a crazy, huge, like 100... 50,000 or 1 million square foot property where it's some, the guy like built railroads or something like that. The okay. guy's name is the Biltmore. It's got huge uh, wineries and gardens and shit everywhere. It's enormous. I want to go there one time. Wow. The guy I work with, Lonnie, went there and said it's fucking beautiful. Okay. Mountains in North Carolina. North Carolina's got like everything. Very underrated. Yeah. Mountains. Yeah. I mean, it's all Smoky Mountain. Does the Smoky Mountains make its way there? Or is that Appalachia? Appalachia. I don't know. There's mountains you, there. You just informed us of the mountains. It's the Rockies. Yeah, no, there's definitely mountains. Denver was full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, man. Geography is a rough one for me. Did you, okay. like, did you like trail mix? Great. Very good. I really liked it. Good. Um, do you guys, you know, Sprouts, well, actually, I mean, I don't know if they do it anymore. Probably not, actually. But before pre-COVID, 
if you went into Sprouts, like the grocery store. Up there on 40? Yeah. I like I said, yeah. They had tubs, like big barrels of like different nuts. And s- you could just go in and make your own trail mix and make that bag as big as you wanted. I would have been all M&M's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Then they realized that M- hippies don't spend too much money, so they're going after the wrong demographic. <laughs> Imagine just getting stoned and going in there and just crushing. Right. Yeah. What do you uh, mean fourteen dollars? <laughs> it gets so expensive because I did it and like when I sat it on a thing and it goes by weight. I was like, "Oh shit!" I'm like, oh. <laughs> That's me every time That's I go to Sweet Frog. Oh like, yeah, seventeen dollars. Yeah. Sweet Frog goes. Hey, what did I get? So good and no yeah. calories. And no calories. Yeah, so uh, fat. Man, um, oh man. So yeah, I like this trail mix. It's I awesome. It Honestly, yeah. it's some of the best trail mix I've ever had. I like that they use the big M and M's. Nothing is really like it, it, the almonds. Even the, the raisins, the raisins are a play. The peanuts are none of it's like super salted, which is cool. And I love ra- the raisin touch. Yeah, it's I, awesome. I enjoy raisins a lot. So, all right, yeah, it's good stuff. Good trail mix. Yeah. Thank you, John. Yep. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Thinking about that all week. Next time, yeah. since it's year two with computers, I will get some form of liquid, and that'll be our snack. Okay. I'll make it splashy, messy. Just don't spill it because. You two are the only ones with something to lose here. Right. Right. Ah, uh, the computers. I'm going to be Well, we all put I'm up at, for that. I'll put your iPad in front of you. No, stop it. Yeah, I will. Stop <laughs> it. Um, so, so we want to... review, yeah? Yeah, you want to jump into it? Yeah. yeah, sure. What movie did we watch this week? So we watched Death on the Nile. Just came out a week ago. Um, rated PG-13, two hours and seven minutes. Directed by Kenneth Branagh, who directed the first one, Murder on the Orient Express. Um, written by Michael Green. He wrote the screenplay based on an Agatha Christie novel. She wrote a bunch of novels centered around the main character. Um, and the plot for this one here, uh, while on vacation the on the Nile, Hercule Poirot must investigate the murder of a young heiress. And uh, it started with that name. I try. Yeah. I, I don't know if that was going to come out exactly right, but I tried. I'll, I'll keep, you know, Hercule do different. Poirot. 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 Yeah. Hercule because they were calling him Hercules <laughs> oh, in the first one. Hercule. I'm pretty sure Poirot. you said that earlier when you were trying to tell us how we were going to start the show. I said Hercules. I think you snuck Probably. the igloo into that whatever you were trying to say over there a few minutes ago. Um, it starts everybody under the sun, um, including Kenneth Branagh, who plays um, the titular, well, not titular, but the main character, Hercule Pelro. Um Gal Gadot, Army Hammer, Emma McKee, Tom Bateman, Rose Leslie. I mean, the list goes, Russell Brand, who I was like, it, it took me. Job. I was like, "Whoa!" Did uh, you say Army Hammer? He uh, Ar- Army Hammer. That's his name. It is. That's his name. Yeah. yeah, that's a real name. Army Hammer. <laughs> he was a Lone Ranger, right? Yeah, because Johnny Depp was Tonto. Well, just because Johnny Depp was Tonto, I don't know that that means Ar- is Army. Is it Tonto? Yeah, it's Tonto. There. Yeah, he was in Lone. He was the Lone Ranger. Army Hammer. He's been. He was in. Um, that's his real name. Yes, dude. He was in. Um, we watched. I know a lot of actors that name. have different names. No, uh, Free Fire. Remember he was in Free Fire? Um, he's been uh, in a bunch of stuff. Army Hammer, real name. Got it. Google well, it. What was Free no. Fire? Uh, the crime movie in the 70s. Remember in the warehouse where they got in that big shootout? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good movie. Okay. That was good um, movie. Letitia Wright, who's from Black Panther. Uh, and uh, so many familiar. You'll see. Huge all-star cast. Yeah. Sure. Massive. Um, personally, uh, I was like, this was your suggestion, right? Yeah, I, so. I think so. Yeah, and I so I was I wasn't really planning on seeing this because I did, I wasn't crazy about the first one. Yeah, like the Oriental Express. I mean, the I, so Orient the, Express. So, so this, is what, <laughs> this is what happened. I w- we went to see it in theaters, and I I guess I was tired. Where I dozed, right? So I was like, ah uh, shit. Yeah, yeah so I was kinda, I was, was kind of like, exactly. So then I rewatched the first one like a couple days ago, um, and I liked it way more obviously because okay. I was able to I was locked in the whole time. Sure. You're um, awake. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't, whatever, even if you, small nuggets in these movies, if you miss, could, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so then after I finished the other, I was like, oh, now, now, now I was excited because of the way the first one ends with the, we need you in Egypt. It's like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then this one starts out right there. Y- right there. You know, they, they, they're praising the detective for solving the case so fast or whatever. And then now he's on vacation and it's like, boom, he gets roped back in. He can't not get roped back in. Um, but you know, overall, I, I thought it was I thought it was pretty good. I thought the acting was really good. Sure. Um, I thought the scenery was beautiful. I don't know what I'm sure some was CGI. I'm sure sure there was, uh, but real shots as well. Just being on the boat. Um, and uh, you don't think he was flying that kite on the pyramid? 
<laughs> Dude, could you imagine? I mean, that's, no. yeah, that's... Even uh, in 1930. Um, and I, the cinematography I thought was great, too, because that, just like the different shots of um, like inside the boat and how he would like zoom in and out really quick on certain things and faces and yeah, just yeah. move the camera it's around. part of my favorite this. part of the movie. Oh, it's okay. No, so, it's well, that's, that's just overall for I me. What, I mean, you. what did you guys I think agree. of the movie? Uh, yeah, I liked it. Um, I thought the first one was pretty good. I like a good murder mystery, Me personally. Too. Me too. And yeah, I really like the scenery. Uh, <coughs> everything set in Egypt is pretty cool to me. Yeah. Um, the mummy, shout outs. Yeah. Um, the actors were awesome. I expected a little bit more from Russell Brand, if I'm being honest. Like, he kind of yeah. fell off. Like, I haven't seen him in anything in a long time. And now that he's back, I feel like he had... Very limited role in this movie. Maybe that's why, because he hasn't been in much. So they're like, well, we'll test the water here. <laughs> and, uh, you're a D actor now. We're, Work your way back up. We're not going to give you, like, Army Hammer's role. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Fucking Army Hammer. <laughs> that name is Armor ridiculous. Hammer. That's like a porn name. That's maybe he I concur with both of you, though. I like the movie. It had good flow. You know what I mean? It wasn't like a... I wasn't really waiting for the next scene to start like it felt like the the scenes made sense like the lineage of the movie all made sense the way it wrapped up like they give you a, they give you some pieces of the case mm-hmm. that if you if like you said if you're not paying attention as it goes yeah, you, you miss it. you, you mm-hmm. miss it at the very end like some minute things you know things that because I love I'm very analytical I love detectives I, the, I, that's probably why I dislike poor movies because I figure them out so fast. Right. Like, even to be perfectly honest with you, d- 10 minutes in this movie, I told Jen who the killers were. And you were right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, I just, I can't turn that part of my brain off. Uh-huh. It's part of the thing that I like about it. Now, the way he figured it out, some of the things, like the nuances as it, we went along, it's kind of like playing the game uh, Clue. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You're, you're kind of like right. picking up, even, even when we watch Scream, you know, like the same thing, Breeze and I, like, and it allows of, the audience to kind of yeah, play along, and it yeah. it makes you interact, which is very which is cool for me because mm-hmm. having ADHD, you choose not to pay attention to a lot of stuff. But like yeah. even knowing, even assuming that I knew who the killer was, I wanted to prove myself right as it went on. Yeah, you know, yeah, um, which was very cool about it. I I, I like movies like this, and again, it, it had all the peaks and valleys of the movie that I think it needed. Little. Mm-hmm. It, I'll, I'll wait for the yeah no thing we're gonna, I don't like I mean we're just gonna jump right into some spoilers yeah. like okay. we're again like we said we're gonna try to keep these a little tighter yeah. just to make one long yeah. uh, fluent episode here so first up we can just hit our likes we can spoil some stuff now spoilers alert for uh, Death on the Nile so just be aware if you haven't seen it yet spoilers 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 um, but uh, so I'll go first on this one I just liked the opening sequence the flashback I love that it was filmed in black and white and I loved. Um, Getting the backstory for uh, Hercule Poirot. You have said both my likes. Uh, Damn it! I don't like this movie anymore. Those are my dislikes. (laughs) Really? Holy shit! Okay, I just uh, the backstory was great because like from the first one you find out he had this love, and you don't really know what happened, and then this one it it just gives you a little just enough to like. Yep. You know, you don't need to dive like crazy deep into it, but you find out he was a soldier in World War One. He was kind of like a war hero. Because he saved his whole platoon except one guy, mm-hmm. right? The the, the and uh, you get the backstory like why he's got a mustache and everything. I thought I just I love that opening sequence. It it also explains some of the uh, the the issue with him and conversation with a certain female on the boat. Mm-hmm. Like he can't converse with her, yeah. you know. And it's funny because you can tell that he likes her, that he has some sort of affection for her, and he chooses he chooses not to show affection because of this love interest that he had in the past and. Mm-hmm. I just basically what he says is that I, the, what I heard if I tell me if I misheard this she was going to stay with him no matter what he had a little deformity on his face and then was going to come see him and was on the way there after he told her not to come right and she died on the way right on, on a train yeah, yeah on I train actually had to ask about that too yeah I asked like, John I the like, same thing what she, the hell did what did he say happened yeah, yeah. I, I didn't understand I didn't understand him, him. yeah, yeah. Yeah, but Jen she died on the train. It, like he was like she was because he didn't finish his thought. Yeah. It was like he he started and he started welling up, yeah. and then it was like he can't. But like I I just assumed that train crashed or derailed or whatever. Yeah. She perished there. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, I actually didn't like that scene. That's a shame. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, it's it's okay. Yeah. I just a I wish it hit harder. Like his love interest was of no interest to me, and I thought the movie was a tad long. And if they just cut that, it would have made for a better movie in my opinion um 
if they were gonna do it, I wish they would have done like a a better reason to show who he is. Like uh if she was gonna die, I, I kinda wish it was more of a cut deep, like she left him because of how he looked as opposed to dying after trying to be with him. And it happened at the end. Like you see all that stuff toward the end, so you don't get to feel for him the entire movie. Like I wish I had those emotions going into it. But whatever. That's just my okay. thoughts on what you guys like. What we liked, yeah. I mean, it's fine. I, Thanks for talking about what you like. <laughs> I uh, well, so like real quick. I, I thought, <clears throat> I thought the way they did, like, yes, there were killers, but there were also people on the boat that were criminals in their own way. Mm-hmm. And it's cool because when he does the interviews, you have to put your mind around who you think it is as an audience member. And he brings up a bunch of different things that they did. Uh, each individual character that could contribute to them being the killer, and I thought that was really cool, like similar to the first one. I love but, the way he interviews people. Yeah, yeah. I love it. The, even like the even even like the like you said, the filming is very cool because even in the scenes where things happen, you know, somebody gets the rock falling off, or uh, the you know both the murders, like Bless. they don't really give you any clue of where any particular person was. They they show somebody here walking or somebody there walking or you know somebody screaming or you know what I mean somebody mm-hmm. they don't really give away much to allow you to eliminate somebody as a killer which keeps it keeps it interesting it keep, sure. you know it keeps yeah. you which is kind of what you're I agree with what you're saying and they and it, right they show a potential bad in pretty much everybody yeah. except for one person in my opinion which ended up being a killer yeah <laughs> um, oh. which is the same thing that would happen in screen. Well, yeah, so someone said this uh, about the movie before we saw it. Like, it, it's a story that's been told before, but the book version is the original storyteller of this story. How old are the books? Old. Yeah. Good answer. I got to say, I, I don't know off top, but I would like to think they were, you know, 30s, 30s, 40s. Sure. When, when she was right. Agatha Christie, I mean, she's, I believe she's deceased now, but, uh, you know, I, I'm pretty sure all her books. Who did it? Who did? Who killed her? Oh, I don't know. Maybe old age. I don't know. Maybe. Um, it's a mystery we will find the end to. So, did you have another dislike, or that was your main? Nineteen thirty-seven. For me, it was just a tinge long. Okay. Nineteen what? Thirty-seven. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it was it was a tinge long and uh, boring at parts. Okay. Um, so what I found out after the fact is that so the whole racial aspect they added into the movie was not in the book, and I just I, I thought that was Hollywood doing Hollywood's thing. They would you not know, have wrote that. Scene no, not with in the her, 30s. In the 30s. No, that's there's what no way. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But like, so like the whole uh, like the racist character, the mm-hmm. mother being racist, and then the interracial relationship and all that stuff. I just felt like that was Hollywood, like doing again, doing a Hollywood thing, doing what and, they do, and and trying to you know just you know make it whatever. So I, I didn't think it was necessary, right? You didn't even have to like you have these characters. It, it is set back then. Just so. one of your dislikes. Yeah, that's yeah, I just, was one I, of my dislikes. I just also. I was like I thought they were just like it was unnecessary. Yeah. You didn't have to do that. You had all these characters. There's no reason to like for me anyway to make it anything on there about race. Like it just didn't yeah. to me it didn't fit. I don't know. That was just me. I mean, I agree. Yeah. Okay. You have another one? Or was that what? Did, I, did yeah. I take your dislike? No, no, no. <laughs> no. I thought uh I thought it was just again, the movie was fun. But I think I thought it was very stereotypical. Like you said, the movie's been made before. Mm-hmm. Like exactly who you think it would be, it is. You know what I mean, dude? What, and that's what, yes. And I think they give you too much and don't give you enough at the same time. Like I, I the fact that they show they keep showing her and how crazy his ex is mm-hmm. the whole time. Like get, get take some of that out. Like and that and it's not like they show her being crazy mm-hmm. and then she she's not around. Right. She's around all the time. She's yeah. on that fucking boat again. Yeah. Somehow, like, he, she, Someone Gal Gadot's character says, we have the whole boat mm-hmm. and all the champagne you can drink, mm-hmm. and then they don't even get 24 hours. They get to their first stop, mm-hmm. and... Here she is. As everybody's, everybody's getting off, that you hear, new, you, you, as you, they're panning out to the scene, you hear just a little bit in the background, uh, new person aboard or whatever, and I look right at Jen, I said, that's the girl, for yeah. sure. And then you come back, and she's just standing on the boat, yeah. like... Why are people not watching her the whole fucking time? She's crazy, <laughs> dude. And that's that's the thing. It was like, because I, I was with you. I'm with you guys. I I was like, it's uh, spoiler. Obviously, like it's the love interest, right? right. It's always the love interest. Yeah. No matter what they did to steer you in another direction, and they had these different reasons why it couldn't have been them along the way. And you're like, okay, but like 
no part of my brain ever fully let that go. So then when the reveal happened, you're like, yeah, okay. There's also, yeah. <laughs> there's also, there's never a time where they show any reason why it couldn't have been a husband. Never right. once. Do yeah. they not show a reason that it couldn't have been him? Yeah. There, I thought I t- it was so obvious that it was him from the beginning because he was poor. Mm-hmm. He gets a job with her. All of a sudden, as soon as it cut to that scene, mm-hmm. I was like, yep, they well, did it. <laughs> what, what sealed the deal for me was the story that she told to her Q about um, the play in high school. She was supposed to be the, the main yeah. character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then at the last moment, they gave it to Gal's character. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is a revenge yeah. thing. Since th- from the beginning, she's yeah. been envious of this woman and she's always been like one upping her the whole, her whole life. To... So that's that there's no way it can't not. That's be them her. trying to set you up to not think it's the husband. Yeah. But they deliberately don't interview. Him. Right. Like, yeah. You know, uh, yeah, I mean, they write him off early. Like it couldn't have possibly been him. Yeah. Because he gets yeah. shot. Yeah. Right. And I, I obviously it was the paint. Yeah. I knew it was the paint right Me away. Too. Like that. That's and the way they set that fight scene up was so corny. Yeah. It was terrible. Yeah, I thought it was cool the way the detective knew that it was that paint based on what happened with the rag when it's in the water yeah, for X amount of time. That was pretty. Like, cool. there's some small details that, like, going in like when he drinks the champagne that he he makes him drink. That mm-hmm. was when that was when I was 100 percent sure. I was like, this guy never drinks, right. ever. He gives him the champagne. He barely takes a sip of it, just a cheers, and all of a sudden he's yeah. pouring his heart out on the side of the boat, passed out, and they show him fall asleep. Mm-hmm. I'm like. He drugged him for sure, one hundred percent. I know it. John yeah. knows what drugging people looks like. <laughs> yeah. Me and um, Bill Cosby. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you guys have any lines that you that you uh, really oh, enjoyed? Shit. I have one. Something okay. Me next. So I'm gonna. Say, I don't go. remember this one. Okay. It's from the beginning of the movie. Perfect. Catherine says it to. Is that yours? I don't know. No. So so Catherine is is the woman that Hercule loved. Uh-huh. And I, I'm, I'm blank. I, it happened so quick. He's, you know, she shows up to the hospital. Mm-hmm. He's scarred up mm-hmm. uh, and all this stuff. Um, and he says something about you can't possibly love me or whatever. And she's like, do you not know how love works? And then she proceeds to say, love is this, love is that. And it's basically her saying like you, when you love a person, it doesn't matter. You're there 110%. It's and, and Yeah. And then she's like, something, something turns to freckles and this and that. So like I, th- that whole sentiment I really enjoy, but I like, Again, I just saw it this morning, and I, you know, I don't want to pull my phone out and brighten up the whole theater. So it was just, uh, I missed the line. But that line that she says to him after she says, "Do you not know what or how love works?" I really like that. But I do have one that I remembered off top. So you said, "I don't want to steal yours." So you say, "Here no, you yours. go." You stole everything from me so far. I have not stolen yes, everything. You have. So this isn't from the beginning of the movie, then. Okay. Okay. This is something that Gal says. Um, so is mine. I forget who she's talking I'm just kidding, to. It's not- Okay. Yeah. But anyway, she's this insanely wealthy heiress, right? And she's talking to somebody about how, like, you know, friendship and this and that, whatever. And she says, uh, when you have no money, no one is ever really your friend. And I was like, that, like, like you hear that from- When you have all the money. Yeah, isn't it? All the it's money. all the money. Is it when you have yeah. all the- Okay, well- Yeah, when you have all, all the money, nobody is really nobody your Nobody is ever really yeah. your friend. And that's the yeah. sentiment. Is that, like, as rich as she is, like she, all these people are- sure. Yeah, exactly. All these people are pretending to be her friends, but so many of them have a gripe with that's her. That's when she's talking to the detective, and she, like, wells up, and she walks into mm-hmm. his room, and she's nervous for her life. Yeah. 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 So I, I thought that was a great line, too. Yeah. My favorite- because I'm very OCD, is the very beginning of the movie when mm-hmm. he walks into the club and he's sitting at the table and the guy that owns the club is like, bring him all the desserts. <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting there and he brings the desserts and like it cuts away and it cuts back over to him. You can see him all frantic, like trying to make this six piece yeah. triangle out of the f- seven desserts. He's like, why is there seven? There should only be six. How can I make this even? That's, and then he goes to take it and he says, no, 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 not that one. Look at the delicacy here. And he <laughs> fucking that switches, one, he switches it out with the other one. That's just one of my favorite parts because yeah. I know what it's like to be OCD. And I could see that. Like, what are you going to do with seven? You can't make anything out of that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was just a just fun. Because there isn't a... We'll get to the director's part, but yeah. there isn't a lot of comedy in this. No, yeah. no. There's like two, three quotes maybe from him that are funny. funny. The vegetables one is funny yeah. too. And the other one that they put in the pre- previews. Yeah, I don't have a quote. It's what what is it where he says uh he accuses everybody of murder. Yeah, I got to work on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, that one was in the previous. Yeah, 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 a couple of good ones. That was a good one. Um so director's hat, um like you kind of said it's long. You would have cut the opening scene. Mm-hmm. I would have cut some of the lead-in stuff. Like it drug a little bit for me leading up to the murder. 
Like, the, yeah, the I mean, I didn't even know who was getting murdered for like the first 10, 15 minutes of the movie. Me neither, because, dude, I think I saw the preview way back when the preview came out, and I, I just didn't watch a preview. So I, I was like, who's going to get killed? I wasn't sure. And then obviously it's Gal that gets killed and, you know, a couple other people. But like, who else who, would it have been? I like, thought it might have been a crazy girl. Her or the husband. Like really? it yeah. Mm. Yeah, it could have been anyone. But yeah, no, I didn't watch the preview, so no, I didn't know. Nothing happens. I mean, you but you get their backstory. Nothing happens if those two die. Well, She's could, still well, rich no. and everybody keep carries on with their lives. Yeah, but if it happens on the boat, what's his name still gonna be yeah. suspicious to everyone, right? Yeah. Anyone could have killed that psycho. Yeah. Could have been the ex husband, it could have been Gal, it could have been anyone that was just jealous. Yeah. Could have been yeah. the doctor because he wanted to make Gal happy. You mm-hmm. know. Could have been the same thing, honestly. But I I just would have cut the whole bit about the um her her uh, her cousin her lawyer like they, they they there's this whole like subplot where he also wants to kill her kind of he doesn't want to kill her well he wants her to change the all those contracts well, he almost killed he her. Uh, he yeah yeah <laughs> a boulder thought, but all that like that ended up leading to nothing it, it yeah. made it didn't have anything to do with the like you know and he didn't they, arrest him he should have arrested they, his they, yeah they yeah. do well he doesn't because he tells him that he has to make things right what he's talking about with the the books mm-hmm. he should have arrested his ass for attempted murder yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like embezzlement's I, one thing, but you tried to kill two people. Yeah, I think, I, and I think that, I think that that scene right there sets up the next one, in my opinion, because I think he I, shows up. I I think that there'll just be a a brief cutaway between the way the next one starts and how this one ends, where he makes sure because if that guy goes to prison, he's not gonna he's not gonna see to it that all of our affairs are taken care of and all the money goes to the proper proper places because. The only thing that was certain prior to that was that the money was going to her aunt, who was just going to give the fucking money away. Mm-hmm. But like, as far as the business and stuff, there was some uncertainty because it was supposed to go to her husband. Sure. So I think that he'll see to it that ev- all her affairs are settled, and then he'll find a way to get the guy. Uh, personally, that's what I think. Or it could be a good setup for you know just a little just a little nuance between the you know the end of the the beginning of at the very beginning of the next one. You know. Sure. I mean? Sure. I mean, I, I respect. It that. could be somewhere settling the affairs. If I, if I was directors adding it, mm-hmm. I think I would have. See, when he tried to kill her with the brick, I thought that was the <clears throat> the son from the beginning that was flying the kite. I thought that was him trying to his get it, some inheritance to get hit on his own, which wound up doing some stuff to do that later in the movie anyway. So, I mean, I was right about him trying it. But How would he get inheritance, though? Because isn't he just a cousin? Well, I didn't he's, know. He's, a, he's, the, he's just a friend. Yeah, I have no idea. I just they could have written it in there. I mean, uh, anyway, I I mean he's, when that he, happened, he's I the, didn't think it was the oh no, that's the yeah, he's just cousin. A gotcha. Yeah, the cousin was the guy that actually did it. Yeah, he was because Hercule asked him how long have you known her, and he just you know that's where he starts to stumble. Anyway, yeah, I just some of that could have been cut, and that that whole subplot with the lawyer, unless it does play in or whatever, it, it could that could have shortened it up a little bit too. So anyway, so my director's hat, I wouldn't have been able to. Do it without changing the entirety of the movie. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> but I would have liked for it to have gone where the doctor and Gail were in on it, and she never actually died because he diagnosed her, and he kept her kind of to himself when mm. she was dead. But she actually, like, if she actually wasn't dead, and he was part in on it as a diagnosis, and they were doing it all to frame the crazy girl for murder, so she's out of their lives forever. That would have been pretty cool, yeah. I think. Changes for you? Uh, I I would have interviewed the husband first. I would have mixed it up. I hate that they waited till the end. When by not interviewing, right? I mean, you always do the love interest first. You always do. It doesn't matter if he was in that other room or not. The detective already knew there was something sus about the paint being missing. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. It doesn't. It doesn't. He had potential. He knew. The detective knew there was a period of time already. That he was by himself. Yeah. Everybody else, when he's going around that boat at that time, he's getting they're getting he's getting alibis. For Would have been a lot shorter of a movie, John. If they interviewed <laughs> no, him no, first. no, because no, because he's there the whole time. There's plenty of questioning happening. He does a great job of playing everything off and accusing everybody and acting sad. But they could have did that shit at the beginning. He never gets interviewed, and by the time he does. His back is against the wall. I wish they would have got him a little bit at first, and like throughout the movie, he's slowly like throwing things at him to try to break him. Ah, uh, sure. You know yeah, what I mean? Makes sense. How many? Um, how many of these are there? Three. No, there's two. two. So there, there, actually, there's. I think there's two movies in the like seventies that were made. They only made two books. No, no, no. I don't know how many books there are, but there are two. Like well, yeah, each this one is nineteen seventy four. This is the sequel, the first right? one. So I'm just wondering if they're gonna make another one. Right, but what I'm saying is, series. in the seventies, they made a version yeah. of Murder on both. the Orient Express and Death on the Nile. So there's two movies, and now they've remade both movies. As far as the series, 
of books. Gosh, it could be, I don't know. Well, oh, she has a bunch. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm. Does. That's what I'm wondering. She's written a whole bunch. And even if there isn't a third book, they have a a good like groundwork that has been laid. Right. They can just take it wherever they want to go. I love a good murder mystery like this. A good whodunit, like Knives Out, man. I haven't seen that yet. Knives oh, Out was great. Dude. I like that better than both of these. There's a sequel coming too, and I think the cast is going to be insane. Knives in. Yeah. <laughs> Knives in. Yeah. So she did 33 of his, like based on the character. Of these books. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's score this puppy. You guys want to score this puppy? Uh, yeah. Also, director's hat. If there's only three, I'd like him to be the killer in the third. Yeah. I think that would be like cool. He's twist. just at wit's end. He's it was him. done. Yeah. He's got to solve his own murder. Uh huh. Or- Before the movie even yeah. started, I, what you just said about Gal is I said either it's the husband and the wife or she fakes her death and the, uh, the detective has something to do with it. Yeah. As the yeah. very first two, because I thought that would be a fucking complete mind fuck if he's there. She gets him to get to come there. Well, that's not even why he's there to begin with. Right. Really, he's there to investigate the son's girlfriend, girlfriend yep. and her family. That's why they were needed in Egypt because it has nothing to do with the case itself. He just happens upon it. Yeah. Uh, I thought it would have been cool as shit. Like very similar to how you what you just said, her faking her death, and once it starts, you realize that because in the previews they don't really show her body. So I was like, oh shit, maybe there's a chance that she has something to do with this. Like some something they're doing something with the money, right? Or you know, she found out about the husband and the ex, and she she, she knows but is afraid, so she fakes her death, and the detective put, puts it on some, you know what I mean? Like you said, frame somebody or whatever. That would have been cool. But yeah. Next one. Yeah. Next time, guys. It would be it would be awesome to see him do it, and then have somebody try to, you know. Be the detective to figure out. Yeah, like the like in because, this one, he had the second hand. The second hand's interviewing everybody with him, and by the end, figures out that it was actually him. Right. That would have been awesome. Yeah, that would be cool. Score. 6-2. Okay. John? 7. Point? Zero. Okay. I was going 7-1. Seven, 7-1 one. Seven, one is my score for this. Because I, I do think I, I like this one more than the first one. The, the first. Sevens is where you tell people to watch it, right? Mm-hmm. I would tell somebody to watch. Yeah, them. me too. Yeah. I would tell somebody to watch both of them at this point. Like, uh, I'd probably honestly, I'd probably score them about the same. It'd probably be seven, seven, one. You could watch like, this one without the first one too. You, or Celine Vice did. Or Celine came with me today, and uh, she watched it, enjoyed whatever, and it was. Yeah, there's only I think like I like the first one better. Okay. Personally, cool. Because that was a spoiler on the first one too. That that's where they all tried to kill, him, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, no, that's, that's a pretty cool twist. Yeah. That was a really good twist, actually, because yeah. it was like. He's got them all lined up at that table, and mm-hmm. it's like, oh shit! <laughs> uh, it was. I, I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, excuse me. Well, that's wrapped up. Uh, Damn, guys, that was quick. What's it look like on time over there? Well, yeah. right now we're at thirty-six on this video counter. Okay, is that still uh, counting? I hope. Good, good. That's a good sign. Yeah. We only hey, say that because yeah. <laughs> there have been times in the past where that thing will just stop recording. This new one is not so bad, but we've had a history. Damn, this one would suck because now we got all kinds of electronics down here. <laughs> There's a bunch going on. Yeah. Very professional out, yeah. out this motherfucker. I'm not even using my laptop. I just have it open because it are looks we, cool. Are we doing a movie next week? What are we doing? I'm doing an episode. All right, John, you choose. What movie are we doing? I thought we were going to do that King's well, you and I just the discussed King, that. Oh. On, no, what's the on one band I want to see? I'm not going to say it. John, <laughs> it was your idea before the goddamn review. Upstairs? Yeah. Come on, man. You guys don't want to watch that. Happy Marriage. I don't know what it's called. Happy, happy. What it's movie called, is it? It's called Marry Me. No, I'm not watching that. Oh, with Jennifer Lopez? Yeah. I'll probably see that. Okay. I don't want to review but it. Would but would you rather watch The King's Man, which just hit like Hulu and HBO? Yeah, I've already seen half of it. Me too. I fell asleep. I, watched, I started watching it the night we were all here, watching a UFC fight. Dave and I watched it. Yeah, I fell asleep on the couch. So next week? Yeah. The King's Man. Yeah. Streaming currently on HBO and uh, Hulu. Real talk for real movies, yeah, we'll listen. Real life for real hype, you feel different. Underrated, appreciated, or barely made it. You let us know at Law Bay, yeah, you really hate it. And Christmas like in the past, you got it going better. And like Jess, it didn't show up, and we don't let up. It's real talk, no theoretical, though it ain't invisible, man. It's so dependable, damn. You can't see him if it's dark or bright. Ask Chris with his Miller light. Or Blockbuster, it's so good, right? Candyman or Tony Dodd or Holy God. I mean, the devil or the 
the time or at least a lot. Apocalypto, go against the grain like your boy Adam, who drink Jack like Jungle Land and Nick Mullins. Educators, tell us what you know about him. Is it bad or good like Peter Butter Falcon? Special guests like Danny D and Dave Arnold. Let us look to the future event horizon. In real life, the movie will never stop. Till it does, we drop and there's no getting up. Until then, subscribe and they let you know the tops. Only way to know for sure is to watch. So shut up and drink your pops, your soda and corn pops. And listen to the real life movie talk. Movie talk. I'm isolated like the lady in black And I seek revenge for these movies at work